tell us what that purpose is through uh, prophets, messengers, and a perfect scripture. How do you feel about that? And I know you're going to have some contentions with that, but go on, go on. I'm, I'm just wondering, what do you mean by perfect scripture? Well, bro, what's your purpose in life? So, brother? What's your purpose in life? I don't know, bro. You would create your own purpose, though. Really? Do you believe in creator? I, I'm agnostic, bro. I don't know. Is it? Why are you agnostic? Because uh, I used to be a Christian, I used to be a Catholic. I just find Catholicism problematic. Because, uh, Partly because of the slave trade and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's, that's Who wrote it and was Jesus, the colour of Jesus and all this kind of stuff, I get it. To some extent, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. But what's Islam ever done to you, bro? No, I'm not anti Islam. No, no, no but you, you, I appreciate you, you've taken a step back due to your experience with Catholicism and Christianity, but have you looked into Islam? Yeah, but come on, it's a different lifestyle. College, college, I, I, I college students. Around, but, yeah. uh, but I'm going to give you a free translation of the Quran. Is that okay? Um, okay. Yeah, free of charge, my bro. I would say that. Look, first things first. Before we even talk about Islam, yeah. let's stop you from being agnostic. Yeah. Can something come from nothing? I agree with you, yeah, because there's no evidence to that. Does that make sense? It's never, you can't give me an example of something coming from nothing, yeah. Now, the universe, did it create itself? No, I'm not saying that the universe created itself at all. Right? No, I'm asking you, I'm asking you. No, I don't, I don't think yeah, it did. Because it doesn't make sense. It's the equivalent of a mother giving birth to herself. It doesn't make sense. So, this is the argument the Quran uses, yeah. These are the full provoking questions the Quran asks, yeah. So, when you're thinking of a creator, you have to think to yourself, okay, where did the universe come from? Where did you come from? Yeah. So then you didn't um, create yourself. Yeah. From nothing comes nothing. Yeah. So then the only logical, rational thing is that you need something that's powerful, something with intelligence, something with will that's outside of the universe to put the universe into motion. How do you feel about that? No, I'm not saying I disagree with you in the sense of um, I believe that, like I said, I'm agnostic. I believe that we create by there's a chance. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just, I just, my, I don't, sorry, I don't my apologies. Know, my understanding of agnostic is yeah. um, you never believe there's a God, nor do you deny it. You're of a position that you don't have enough evidence to say either or. Is in that sense, correct? Yeah, yeah, in sense, yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to give you more evidence to so say, no, I'm a theist. I believe in a creator. I just don't prescribe in specific religion. Yeah, I certainly don't subscribe to it. Oh, is that what you're saying now? Because, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you believe in a creator? Uh, I just don't believe in a, the, the, the biblical or the scripture. No, leave, leave that to one side. Leave that yeah. to one side. <laughs> Did the universe have, does the universe have a creator? It's something that's powerful, something that's outside of the universe, something with will that put the universe into existence? Yes or no? I can just say yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Until I find evidence the contrary. Uh, Thank you. That, that is a safe position to hold. Yeah. So currently, it's logical and rational to believe in a creator. Yeah. So through this small dialogue we've established that it makes more sense to believe in a creator than not to believe in one. Now, it's a matter of what, what does the creator want from us? Yeah. And I would say that, look, the creator didn't create us without purpose. And would t the Creator would tell us what that purpose is through uh, prophets, messengers, and a perfect scripture. How do you feel about that? And I know you're going to have some contentions with that, but go on, go on. I'm, I'm just wondering, what do you mean by perfect scripture? Perfect scripture as in something from God that's been preserved, that's got no mistakes in it, no contradictions in it. Um, that's what I mean by perfect. Okay. Yeah? I would argue the book I've given you, that the book you're holding in your hand, is a perfect, unchanged word of God. This is the only religious scripture that claims to be from God. The Bible doesn't make that claim. Yeah? The Quran is the only scripture that says it's from Allah and Allah will preserve it. Yeah? 
The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he spoke Arabic. The Quran that I've given you now was translated from Arabic to English. We have over 200 million Muslims who have memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot in the language it was revealed in through oral tradition. So we can trace it all the way back. So this person memorized it from this person who memorized it from this person. Go back about 15, 19 generations and all the way to the Prophet Muhammad. I'm arguing that the Prophet Muhammad is a man chosen by Allah, chosen by God. Yeah. I'm going to define to you um, and explain to you who the Prophet Muhammad is, depending on the time you give me, and I will define what God is. No, no, I'll be quick. How much time do you have, by the way? I'll be respectful to your time. I was going to catch the bus. Is it? So, yeah. the, what, what time do you start work? We've got how many minutes? Because I'll, I'll keep it within that time frame. Okay, we'll do like three minutes or something. Three about. minutes, yeah. All right, I'm gonna put a time on my phone, bro. That's that's how much I respect your time. Okay, where we at? Okay, so now you're thinking, okay, as a Muslim, I would make this point, yeah? We have non-Muslim academics. If you Google Birmingham manuscript, you see that you've got non-Muslim academics who are saying they can carbon date the Quran to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad because they found um, like parts of the Quran, like large parts of it. So they could carbon date to a life from the Quran, life from the Prophet Muhammad, and that's the exact same Quran that 200 million people have memorized, word for word, letter for letter. So I would say your experiences of Christianity and the Catholic faith, right? Leave that to one side. Look at Islam through a new lens. 1400 years ago, yeah, the Prophet Muhammad, in his last sermon, the final sermon, he said, no white man is better than a black man. No Arab is better than a non-Arab. He didn't have to stick his neck out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Makes sense. He was given women's yeah. rights. So let me just very quickly finish. And he said, the thing that differentiates you is taqwa, is God consciousness. Does that make sense? So how, I don't know. Um, you never know how much taqwa I've got, how much God consciousness I've got, how much connection with God I have. Like we see these people, you never know because it's in the heart. You want to say something, my bro? No, because when you spoke about um, no one particular group is above any other in Islam, my, my impression of Islam from what I've seen is that the Arabs are the ones who dictate, like hold, the, I guess, to hold the keys to religion in some ways, and, and other, people, other, other groups are subordinate in some way. I would say that's your perception. Arabs, because they speak the language and because it's, it's a tradition that's been passed down, then I would argue that, look, Arabs, people who know the Arabic language, yeah, if you, then you will be closer to the message. Me, myself, I'm trying to actively learn the Qur'an, because, I mean, Arabic, why? Because the Qur'an is in Arabic, does that make sense? But now, no Arab can say he's better than another believer, just because he's an Arab. Does that make sense? He could say, yeah, um, I have a better understanding of the Qur'an, or I've studied Islam, and because I've Know, know the Arabic language, so on and so forth. That's a different argument. So there's no, there's no subordination because the fact of the matter is, there's a difference between actuality and your perception. Actuality is what the Prophet Muhammad said. He is the role model. He is the one that came with the religion. Islam is based on the Quran and Sunnah. So the Sunnah is the actions of the Prophet Muhammad. So if he said that no Arab is better than a non-Arab, and he's telling you what the criteria is, it doesn't matter what I say, what you say, with all due respect. Yeah? Um, do you have any questions for me? And I've got 15 seconds. It's my daughter. Yeah, thank you. And it's not her tongue, it's a sweet. She likes sharing sweets with me. So everyone's like, why are you buying her tongue? Well, I'm not buying the tongue. Oh yeah, yeah, I can make it out. Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. two boys. So. Oh, is it? Blessing, isn't it? Blessing. And it changes you. Do you have any boys? Two girls. Now. Just two boys. Yeah, yeah, I've had boys. two boys and a girl. And the thing is, you realise, boys and girls are very different, man. Boys and girls are very different. I'm going to let you go. If you want, um, you can take my Instagram or take my number. We can continue this convo. There are brothers here every Saturdays. But while you're doing this, do you have any questions for me? Um, no, not at the moment. Yeah? No problem, my bro. Um, how, do, how do I use it? Okay, it's there, yeah. Right. I'm worried, bro. I don't want to drop your phone. You're trusting me with your phone like this. Is it? All right, um, so it's Dawah, 
Ronaldo on point. Your internet, man. What, what provider are you with? Free. And every time I'm around here, it's really bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's terrible around here. In central London as well, where I work, it's, it's terrible. Tell them, man. Get another thing. But yeah, that one on point. Once I basically uh, get to the high road on the 25, just up there, just turn around and turn to the right. I'll go on the high road. Oh, you know exactly. It'll be like that one step, and you're like, yeah. Exactly. Internet, it's, it's no okay. internet. Internet, no internet. But yeah, so it's that dot on point. I'm going to let you go. And yeah, to be continued, my bro. Or oh, is that gone? So D A W A H A H A A H A H dot on point. Okay, if that, if that goes, it screenshot. screenshot. What's your name, by the way? Uh, Jack. Jack. Uh, Ridwan. Huh? Jan. Jan. Jan, Ridwan, to be continued, my bro. Have a Make good day at work, yeah? No problem. Take care, sir. Take Thank care. you so much. Alhamdulillah. Um, yeah, lovely conversation with Jan. May Allah grant him Islam. We didn't have a lot of time to chat. He mentioned he had a negative experience with the Catholic religion, like Christianity and then Catholic religion. And this was mainly due to um, how black people were treated in there and the slave trade. Um, which we didn't get a chance to record but the reality of it is I asked them before the camera was started that look we need to look into other religions with an open heart and obviously me myself being from the Islamic background having strong reasons to believe in Islam I will start with Islam first and how Islam gives rights to people of different uh, ethnic minorities and ethnicities so alhamdulillah um, inshallah Allah gives him the tawfiq to open the Quran read from it benefit he took it with him and grant him Islam because that's the ultimate success we will want. Assalamu alaikum wa